Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Beard Games. Have you ever felt like a plastic bag? Okay, yeah, me either. Uh, Katy Perry's not probably the best for metaphors, or metaphors, however you say it. But I think what she's trying to say is... I'm Jake. I'm Cody. I'm Jordan. I'm Emily. I'm Brett. And, and we're, we're from, from Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Georgia. Go ahead and grab that coffee cup. Fill it up. Bring it on over. And sit on down. And take a swig from, from your, your mobile, mobile cup of Joe. And you will get to experience a perfect score, I guarantee it, on Fish Out of Water. So this is part two, so go ahead and catch part one. It'll be A link will be in the description for you. But here we are, we have six costumed fish. Um, and I just love this game. It really, I really do. They're adorable fish. They're just precious to me, and they're my best friends. And I hope they'll be yours too by the end of this video. But I did want to run through a few things with you. We did the introduction on the last uh, episode. Uh, so... I said that I've got costumes down here in the chest is where all the costumes are. And it's up to you how you want to arrange these and what you think the best costume is. But in here you can also craft special gems and uh, charms. Uh, and the black ones are your special ones, you know, so I still only have just a few down there. I've, I've ranked up a few. I'm a, around 150 uh, level. So I've got a ton of regular gems so I can put together pretty much any combination of the other colors I want. But black is rare, and that gives you pretty much a guaranteed uh, top score or achievement if that's what you're looking for. So I made a purple charm. I'll get 50 meters and 15 skips, which uh, will help for a perfect score. But I'm going to show you a perfect score without the use of any charms. I will use the costumes, but not the charms. So uh, let me run through some achievements here. And over here, on you'll notice I'm number one today. I hadn't got my perfect score yet, but I will. Over here in the achievements, um, I wanted to talk to you about this bottom two. Uh, the rest of them just kind of explain themselves. Get over 150 skips, rack over 100 kilometers, those kinds of things. But the bottom two are special. The secret league here, uh, you know, we're part of the MCOJ Brew League here on uh, Fish Out of Water. So go into the leagues and you will type in secret, just the word secret. Now it's always full, you never get into the league, but just typing that in unlocks that achievement. Uh, so I've had a few people ask how to get the rest of these achievements, so I wanted to walk through those two for you. And then the Tehe 3, you'll need the brothers for this, and you'll skip the brothers. The brothers are the ones that split into three, these guys here. And you need to get 69 skips in one throw. Tehe. Uh, Half Brick's got a little bit of a sense of humor and you'll need 69 and that's tough you'll just have to play around with that to get that uh, just about right but with the brothers 69 skips I was close I got 71 but I've already unlocked the achievement anyway 69 skips teehee will give you that achievement there so let's take a look now here's some fun stuff that you can do let's suit up uh, down here, the arrow, ninja arrow. This guy's fun. This is the really weird uh, costume. When you throw him, it throws regular, but he bounces really high and awkward and weird. And as you slow down and speed up, it seems like he just kind of bounces all over. He's one of the fun guys. He's the ones that you really want to like root for because he bounces, and and he's like really str struggling and and trying to get there to the end. <laughs> And then uh, Olympus here is he's a uh, he'll collect boosties with this top hat. Looks sharp if you do say so myself. And he'll stretch and reach and pretty much anything in his range he'll bring the boosties in. Now now the key here and I'll walk walk you through this is going for a perfect score is going to be getting the right combination. Uh, Seven point eight is nice, but that's nowhere near ten. And and it is difficult even with the right conditions and doing everything right. It the the crabs are finicky. Uh, especially uh, hard to please hardwood hardwood down there. He's, he's difficult. What you're going to need to do, and I'll walk you through that here right now. All right, so it took me a few times, so I had to edit this together for you. But this is a, going to be a perfect score, I promise and guarantee it. And here's how I did it. I started with the brothers with the punk hats on and keep them low and slow and boost right at the end, but use all of your boost with the brothers. Keep them right against the water 
and then with Olympus with his top hat on will collect a bunch of boosties. So after you expend or, or use all of your uh, boost on the brothers, then throw Olympus so he'll gather a whole bunch and finish your throw with Micro, the aviator hat. And you notice I'm tap boosting with this guy, right? As soon as I hit the water, I tap once I, once I, once I bounce to get up in the air. You get lucky sometimes, and this time I did, and you're able to collect boosties as you go. And this way you're able to get a lot of distance and bounce with micro. So start with the brothers, stay right against the water and skim, stay slow, and you'll stay right against the water. Get a ton of ton of skips around 115 to 130. Then throw Olympus with the top hat and you'll get a ton of boosties. Throw micro with the aviator hat and hope for distance. And there you have it, a perfect 10 score. So let's play around a little bit with some of the other stuff that you can do. Let's suit up again. And let's change some of these. Who is my favorite? Propeller Finley, Headphone Finley. Finley's boring. I'll be honest. I don't like him too, too much. But don't don't tell him that. He's, he's touchy. He's, he gets his feelings hurt a lot. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Let's give Olympus an afro there. Why not? And we'll be King Micro. So let's throw these dudes around and see what we see. It's good to be King. Now, King Micro, he really takes off, but he doesn't bounce too high. So you get a, a little better distance, a little better speed out of it, depending on if that's what you're trying to get. And he'll skip a ton down here. Still, uh, push. 260, not too bad. Still your best bet with uh, Micro is going to be that Aviator helmet. And let's give Olympus, let's throw him. He's floaty, which makes sense. If you put an Afro on... Uh, naturally you float, which a lot of people don't understand that and don't didn't realize that. But if you put a fit, an, an afro on a fish, he'll float. Uh, it, you know, it's just one of those secrets of the underwater world. And not too bad. And then we'll throw Finley because I never throw Finley. Now the, the hat I've got keeps him up in the air. And I'm out of boost already. He flies through it. Now, this won't be the best score in the world, but it will be a whole bunch of fun. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to challenge you guys to get a perfect score. Join the MC, 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 MCOJ Brew League. Join the league and get a perfect score and match me and see if you can uh, use my technique or whatever or use your own and share that with us. Uh, there's a few of us in there. Uh, everybody's doing pretty decent. Uh, Swift Hands, Z12, and Yusuf is getting close. Mary, you're right behind. And J-Mac, play. I know you're better at this game than 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 not playing. Come on. And so get in there. See if you can get a perfect score. Share that with us. Uh, hashtag MCOJBrew, and we'll check you guys out. But that's a little bit of a uh, little more of fish out of water. And go get some achievements. Go unlock all that stuff. The tee the, the secret stuff. And see if you can get to level 150 like me. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys this before we left. The pick up four fish at once. You'll see this uh, a bunch, and and you have to fly, and you got to get each or four fish out of the water at the same time. And kind of see how they're coming up there. That's obviously not enough. So you'll throw them kind of back and up, and that'll keep them out of the water a little longer, and do it really quick. And then eventually it'll happen. Go complete! I did it! Yes! Level 151. I have no idea how high they go, but I don't know they at least go to level 151. And then once you complete a level, you get to unlock a chest. Typically, I open the far right first. Every time I get up and play, and I get a better large mixed crystal pack. Uh, so that's a little little tidbit and trick for you as well. The first time you're playing for the day or whatever, when you first fire up the game, once you get to pick a chest, pick the far right one. It's usually the better one. And then we start at 151, fly through the one ring. Well, that should be easy enough. I bet I missed because I put the bouncy guy on. Oh, come on. You can do it. It's almost there. Well, it's way out here. Here we go. I got it. I mean, congratulations to myself. I was able to accomplish the feat. All right. So that's a little more fish out of water. Perfect score. Some achievement tidbits and tips and tricks. And here goes the crazy arrow. He'll never stop bouncing until he does. And that's it. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. That ends uh, the Fish Out of Water series. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have a question or comment, leave that down in the comment section or hashtag MCOJBrew on the socials. But thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. And we'll see you next time on Beard Games.